My name is Prasha Serrero. I'm a medical doctor in Khaburun, Botswana. I enjoy teaching. I enjoy public health and preventive medicine. One of the things that really got me into studying medicine was that when I was a child, I used to stay with my grandmother and she has blood pressure, high blood pressure and diabetes. And I remember the time I used to be the one that used to like come and give her like her medication in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. I used to remind her of that. And just from that, I really just developed a passion for helping people. And I also just used to love the way she would respond, you know, and she used to really affirm me to say, my child, you're gonna be a doctor, you're gonna be an amazing one. And I think by the time I was nine years already, I had decided that's what I wanted to do. And um, I have not looked back since then. So we started Pimo Clinic in 2019, November and PMO itself, the word means prevention in Setswana and that's really where um, the idea behind this business or this clinic hinges on and the idea behind that was we wanted to focus a lot on preventive medicine to say we have people that are not sick at the moment so how do we get them to stay healthy for longer? When I was a first year intern, um, I remember the calls were hectic and we used to work long hours. And I used to think to myself, we are busy taking care of people that are not well. But what happens to us as the staff or the healthcare workers, who takes care of the caregiver? And that's really where it started. And I just started reading and um, looking into employee wellness and um, such programs and just really educating myself in that space. With preventive medicine, we are really looking at um, strategies that are going to help us to avoid the occurrence of illness or disease. And in some instances, we're talking about uh, where people already have an illness and we're trying to really arrest or slow the progression of the disease. And the, some of the strategies that we employ here at PEMO Clinic include things like health talks, that, that's what we do, public health education, because when people know, when people are empowered, they will make better decisions concerning their health. We cannot talk about preventive medicine without mentioning lifestyle medicine or wellness in general. Because when you look at it, wellness is actually a very broad concept which encompasses different aspects of the human being. So we're looking at the emotional well-being, physical wellness, psychological, occupational, social, um, even financial, and environmental. So when we're now looking at preventive medicine, all of these um, aspects of the human being have to be um, catered for when we employ these strategies for preventive medicine. When we're talking about an individual who for some reason has a chronic illness or has risk factors towards a specific illness. We want to make sure that emotionally they're in a good space, socially they're in a good space because we understand how all the factors play together to actually sometimes even encourage illness or help the person to actually um, combat illness. When I became a doctor, I decided that I'm going to be one of those doctors who practice what they preach. And one of those things included that I had to actually do the things that I tell my patients to do in order to get well and be healthy generally. So I am one to actually go to the gym. If I'm going to recommend for my patients to do, to work out or to eat properly, I want to be able to share my own personal experiences with them. So in saying that, I do actually make sure that I make time for the gym. I make time for my health. I make time to eat healthy. It's not always easy, you know, but I have come up with ideas or creative ways to make sure that I manage to attain these goals. And a simple example of that is um, getting someone to help me with my meal preparations for the week if I know that I'm having a very hectic schedule for that time. And sometimes it's things that um, I'm not able to go to the gym seven days a week and I mean sometimes it's not even practical, but I make sure that if I'm not at the gym I might squeeze in something at home or home workout and these days we're so blessed because the internet has all the resources that we need and um, so I'll just find a video and work out at home. As a child 
I promised myself that I'm going to become the woman that I have always wanted to be. And it's also understanding that, you know, this doesn't just happen. There's going to be challenges. There's going to be sacrifices that need to be made along the way. But if you're very resolute in what you really want, you will encourage someone else to be brave with their own lives. And that's one of the things that I also hold on to that um, as a hero in this field, um, you know, my bravery and my courage will encourage another person to also be brave with their dreams, with their aspirations and their goals in this life. Cool.